Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Please press the like button, subscribe, share, comment. I am always looking forward to the dialogue. So in today's video, I will be discussing the manual safety that comes with some of the P365 series of handguns that 6R makes. The gun that you have in front of you is actually a P365 XL. And this grip module I purchased separately from Gray Guns. Originally, this gun did not come with a grip safety. So I bought the module, which came with the grip safety. First off, let's talk about why I have a grip safety. Some of you are wondering, Sean, why do you need grip safety? What if you forget to turn the safety off in a lethal force encounter? Let me, let me talk about that. So the reason why I have a grip safety is because I carry appendix. I'm just always worried that there's always that 1% chance that my trigger might snag on my clothing or it might snag on something else. Gun goes off, I'm going to lose the crown jewels. So that's one of the reasons why I have a grip safety. Right before I holster, safety goes on. The second reason is I have four children. Guys and gals, the chances of me having to use this gun in a lethal force encounter do not justify. They don't, they don't outweigh the possibility that one of my four children can get their hands on this gun. Now, obviously, I keep this gun in two ways. On me all the time. And when I mean on me, I mean right in the waistband. Or number two, it's in a safe. But there's always that chance. And what it does, it adds an additional layer of security. As for having to take the safety off in a lethal force encounter, let's talk about that. Right here you have a staccato C and you have a manual safety. And both guns, sorry about that guys, both guns were inspected prior to me turning on the video. I'll do that once again for you guys. No magazine in the well, nothing in the chamber at all. I visually, physically inspected the chamber. Nothing in the well of the weapon and there's nothing no cartridges, nothing in the chamber. Did a visual, physical inspection. Both guns are rendered safe. So this is my, my Staccato C2. And this has your traditional safety, your man, traditional 1911 safety, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare both sizes of the safeties. Here's my caliper. Okay, this is about 1, 1 1.9, 2.0 millimeters. Okay, from the left side to the right side of the manual safety. And for my staccato, which has a traditional 1911 manual safety, Okay, we're at 5.0. So this manual safety for my, st for my staccato that has a traditional 1911 manual safety, it is more than two times the size of the SIG P365 manual safety. What that means basically is you have less real estate on your thumb. This feels very comfortable, guys. I can do this all day long without missing the safety. Look at this. And actually, when I'm firing this gun, I can actually write the safety like this to manage the recoil. So I can put my thumb here, okay? Push down, okay? And this is how I can, this is how I can manage the recoil, by putting my finger right on that safety. The SIG 365 is a lot different. I, I can't do that, you guys. I cannot put my thumb on the safety to, ma to manage recoil. I, I can't, it's gonna slip off. I'm better off putting my, indexing my thumb right here rather than riding it up here. It just feels more comfortable right here. But there's so much more surface space on here. This feels more intuitive. 
This I've been practicing for the last couple of days and I'm growing a callus right here, but there's just so much, there's just very minimal uh, purchase right here. Now, is there a chance that I might forget to to put the manual safety on, on, a, on, a, on a draw? There's a chance and I've been practicing and I've been very efficient at it. I, I don't like it as much. It doesn't feel as great as a 1911 style safety. That, that's what I'll tell you right now. Um, I feel with more practice on my draw, I can take the safety off a lot more easier. But you have to imagine, guys, I am Asian, okay? I have these, I have these thin fingers. Some of you have thicker fingers. If you have thicker thumbs, then you're going to have, I think you're going to have a difficult time taking this safety off. So these are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Do any of you guys have the three, the SIG P365 series with a manual safety? And if so, do you have a difficult time taking the safety off on the draw? So let me know what your thoughts are. Take care.